Hi, my name is Ahmed. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy your managed application on the SAP Business Technology Platform, especially if you're a SAP customer. You want to follow the advice of SAP to keeping your core clean with SAP BTP, especially if you have S4 HANA. Um, the like positive aspects of uh, low code in general is that it's really faster development you can enable your citizen developers to do development and especially when it comes to manix in combination with sap it's very very powerful and um, today i'm going to show the deployment part but there is a lot of more you can do with manix in combination with sap like connecting to the systems where all data or different connectors um, you can have Fiori templates, you can use single sign-on and many, many more. And today we are now going to start with the deployment and you will see it's done by just a few clicks. So first of all, you need the SAP BTP account. You go here on account HANA on demand.com and you click here on register. It's a trial account. Any developer who wants to try out this can do this for free. I already have an account, so I'm going to go and sign in. When I'm signing in, it will, of course, ask me for my login credentials. And I actually have some of my colleague, um, Kashif, which I'm going to use. And somehow, yeah, perfect. Here, Kashif, uh, really nice guy, awesome Mendix consultant, does a really great work. So I'm logging here with his account. I think mine was banned or so, I don't know, it didn't work. <laughs> um, and then um, once I logged in, also when you create a, a trial account from scratch, right after you like verify your email and so on and so on, and um, you log in, you will exactly see the same window as you will just see in a few seconds, hopefully. Um, it's loading a little bit. So I go here on trial home then i yeah it's a lot of clicks actually <laughs> again go try and account maybe the well it was wrong so cockpit hana trial on demand.com i see i have my global account with this number and i have a sub account created for the region us east and this is also later important when we set up our environment in the uh, mendix project in the application so when i go on sub accounts what i will see is um, I have your entitlements, I have here my space, the desk space with zero applications and zero service instances. From the eight entitlements, I will need like four to five, I guess, like the application logs, the destination, the connectivity service, a database like PostgreSQL or HANA and um, something else. I can't really remember, but um, you, you will see that also in a, a few minutes. So once we have this, we go to our Mendix uh, account. I, I see here my starting page, like my apps. I will just go and create a new app here. And uh, as I said before, Mendix has uh, a lot of uh, templates also, especially when it also comes to SAP. There are a few templates. Um, when we go here, for example, we can see the SAP Fury Web Starter. It has the SAP Fury 3.0 style. And then I can just select uh, and go with that one. I will call this SAP demo, um, choose a blue color. Uh, I will leave this here, create an application, and then it's building this one. And uh, by the way, while it's building, um, Mandix is so far I know the only local platform which allows you to use HANA as your uh, database for your Mandix application itself, which is really uh, nice uh, since SAP is also marketing uh, HANA as a flagship. It's an in-memory in -memory database and it's very fast. So let's go um, now continue here. Since we created and uh, selected a SAP template as a starter, um, we immediately see this welcome page with the SAP technology platform login. Um, but I want to also show you if you would have started from another template or later on want to add your environment when you are in your application itself, in your project, you can go here to deployment environments. And here you just click on, please select your preferred cloud. Then we select this one, we go on cloud settings, and then here we find SAP BTP, click on set up. And then uh, I think I have to click on getting started. 
and then I um, first choose the region. As I said before, um, our sub account is on US East. We select the 001. I think that's the one which is used for the um, trial account. So I will put here again from my awesome, co awesome colleague the uh, credentials. And then um, once we sign in, the nice thing is immediately I see everything. So I see the region, I see the domains I can use. Apps internal is, um, I used it a couple of times, it never worked. I don't know exactly how to set that up, but if you go with a third uh, CF apps and you can't do anything wrong, here we have the organization um, and then we have the space, um, which we also can see when I go back in here, this space. Um, and then what we're gonna choose here is HANA Trial Secure Store and then License Model Subscription and then we go and create our environment. Um, now what you will see is when we go on to our um, space, I guess, here and then on instances, now suddenly it's creating uh, those instances I just talked about, the services. Um, so here we have the application login service, the connectivity service. Let me refresh this. Is there actually a refresh button somewhere? No. Uh, and then we have the authorization, of course, um, especially like in um, the uh, Mendix low code platform, you have a lot of um, possibilities to define module roles, app user roles, um, assign um, those module roles to the user roles. You have read and write access on entity level, on page level, on different, different levels. It's awesome and I think it's really needed um, when you want to have an enterprise level application. And um, those are working seamlessly with the um, SAP um, identity provider on your SAP BTP. And therefore we also need um, this authorization and trust management service. So when we go down here, let's say um, it created um, everything, I guess, so it's really five. And um, the interesting part is when you go um, on here, you will see bound applications are zero, here also zero. And um, now when we go back to Mendix app and go to environments, uh, we will see, oh no, I go back here. Why is it not here actually? Uh, I go here. I see that my uh, development environment is ready and uh, it set it up. And now what I have to do is um, I connected basically my SAP uh, space, uh, sub account space with my Mendix application so they can talk with each other. And now what I want to do is I want to create a package out of my Mendix project, um, which I'm uh, I then gonna deploy on the SAP um, BTP space. So for that, I have to create a package from the team server. Um, like when you create an initial application, um, there's gonna be an initial upload. Um, from, it's a blank app actually, or that was, uh, that what was in the template. So here you can also see import app template as a common message as an automated one. And I go in here and then maybe I can give it a version and then put build uh, this revision. Now it's gonna build this um, package. And um, normally what you do is um, you like um, develop um, your feature and you then commit this one into the branch. Here in this case, it's the main line. And then um, you commit, commit, commit. And in case you want to at some point deploy um, something, then you create a package of uh, here it was committed, you know, that work was done until then and then I create this package out of there and then this one I'm gonna now deploy on the SAP BTP and um, we will now wait a little bit until the uh, app package is built. In the meantime, uh, check out my um, co uh, webinar uh, I did about SAP build um, versus Mendix. Um, um, SAP itself has also their own local platform SAP build I made a comparison uh, early this year in May about uh, when to choose what uh, as an SAP customer. Uh, what's definitely the case is that with uh, Mendix or both, you won't make um, um, you would make a good decision. And um, there are a lot of benefits to use low code in general. 
and um, there's going to be a link in the description below or maybe I'm going to also tag it here somewhere. I don't know how that works. So our ad package was created. Here I can see this and now I'm going to go and click here on deploy. I'm going to select my development environment which I created. This is going to be the URL I can access later on. So I have to move this cookie here and then transport and then um, we now gonna see the transport. Let's see what happens here on our SAP um, sub account in the meantime. So when I go in here, um, I will see ah, one application appeared here. I can see my SAP demo and demo development. It's right now stopped because it's just um, here um, deploying it. And um, when I go to my instances, I think now it will, after I start the application, I guess, um, it will also bound it to the services. Uh, maybe I can go in here. Can I actually see logs uh, here? Look, I can even see logs, what's happening right now. And uh, with this one here, the uh, app was created, updated. I can even uh, update this one. And then we just see and wait a little bit until this happens. So I'm back in the logs now. Um, we can see here uh, what's happening. It's creating different things, dependencies and uh, droplets, what it all means. I'm not that technical. I'm basically just, um, that's a nice thing about the whole uh, development with low code. I don't have to understand everything what's going on here but I kind of um, get a feeling of what's going on. I also understand uh, some of the things, most of the things, but uh, not everything. And um, you don't really have to know all of this. And this is what uh, low code takes for you. It, take, it makes this heavy lifting, this, um, you know, this really IT um, related topics, which are really deep. You don't have to um, know them all. Of course, it's beneficial if you know it, but um, I would have never imagined I can deploy an application on any cloud. And now uh, this is basically happening, which I really like a lot. And there we go. It started. Here is my URL. When I go in here, I will also see container healthy. I go back here. I go into my SAP and I see started here. Um, stuff is running. Memory is used. Disk is used. So I click on this one and voila, my Manix application, which is empty probably, um, is now running on the uh, SAP BTP. And um, that was just really done with a couple of clicks. Um, I didn't really need to configure um, something a lot. It was just a login and um, like adding the things. And that's how easy it is done. And uh, if you want to uh, know more about Mandix and SAP, uh, I'm going to do more courses about uh, how to connect with SAP systems via our data, how to set up a single sign on like here, for example, with signing in using XSUAA and uh, many more um, low code Mandix and uh, SAP topics. So please don't uh, forget to subscribe, to like, to comment if you have any question. And um, then um, I wish you happy coding or development.